So you're going to hear the words devolution and decentralization used a lot during the assemblies. And they can sound like they mean the same thing, but they are actually different and understanding how they're different is important. So that when you hear people talk about devolution and decentralization, you know what they mean. Both words refer to changing the way that government works. Both words are also about power moving from Westminster politicians to the public. Now, let's use a bit of a metaphor here. Not everyone likes rugby, but we're all familiar with the image of players passing the ball down the line. Now, in this image, the power moves from the centre and towards the spectators. So, devolution is when the centre still decides the tactics, but the action shifts to the wing, nearer to the crowd. Decentralisation, on the other hand, is when both decision making and responsibility move out together. So let's extend this metaphor. Some argue that our democracy needs to get the crowd more involved in both. You might not agree with these definitions, and lots of people don't. That's okay. Another thing is, the Conservative Party has used decentralisation more in its official statements, whereas the Labour Party has tended to use devolution more. But don't assume that they're consistent in how they use these words or that they even agree with these definitions. You're going to see and hear these words a lot during the assemblies in the coming weeks. And it will help our discussions if we're aware of the words that people use, what they mean by them and why they choose to use them. If nothing else, they make a good starting point for discussion.